if you are early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, even if none's in your bucket, the beer scenery will fill the space. When the barber goes down with tugging, this thrill compares to nothing. Yeah, this their life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how we doing today? Professor Slabs here, and you just tuned into another episode of Slab Life Fishing, ladies and gentlemen. Special uh, episode today, ladies and gentlemen. Got a little shell cracker here. Today, get him on the ice. Today, we are using crickets, ladies and gentlemen. World famous right there when it comes to bluegill and sharecracker fishing, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit right here, I'm gonna fish the edges, I'm gonna show you guys how to put a float, sit it right here on the edge, ladies and gentlemen, and tear them up. I'm out here in Lakewood Ranch, Florida right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a beautiful lake that we got out here to fish today. Gonna show them, baby, what a beautiful lake we got to fish today. One of me and my wife's favorite lakes right here. Last year we did pretty good in here. We 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 caught our limits every time that we sat right here where we're sitting at. Predominantly is a lot of red ear sunfish in here, shell cracker, that's predominant, but there are some big bluegills in here too. I've caught channel catfish, I've came out here and did really good bass fishing, and uh, there's still a lot more to explore here. I'm only a year old in this lake. Last year was our first time fishing it and like I said me and mama limited out every time. So what I want you guys to do is stay tuned ladies and gentlemen and we'll be right back and we finna get ready to slang them and bang them ladies and gentlemen with the famous cricket ladies and gentlemen. Yes sir buddy y'all just wait. Huh. Barber Down Productions on the way ladies and gentlemen. Slap life y'all stay tuned. Beautiful shell cracker. Oh man, let's look at the butter on him. That beautiful yellow belly right there, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely, bluegill absolutely love crickets. But as you guys can see, shell cracker don't mind them either, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not throwing far, I'm only fishing yay deep. Hold on, let me show you guys. I'm only fishing yay deep, ladies and gentlemen. Not too deep at all. Two split shots, golden Aberdeen hook. The crickets in town right now, my buddy at my bait shop that I go to said it's been a bad shipment, so he gave me a little extra, but these crickets are very small, what I have here today on this episode, ladies and gentlemen. They they're normally way bigger than what I have right here. That's why they're kind of jumping all over the place and crawling on me and stuff, but it's okay. So what I've been doing is I've been doubling them, okay? If you guys wanna know how I hook them, simple. I take the hook. I go right in the side of the neck, ladies and gentlemen, and go down all the way out the pus sack, which is the butt. Okay, so we're gonna put two on there, but they small. Same thing, same thing, ladies and gentlemen. Grab them just like this, they cannot bite you. Well, I've never been bit by one anyway. Go down just like that, just like that, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna pitch it right here on the edge. I'm gonna reel it in some. Right there, ladies and gentlemen, we ain't going far at all. Thank you. 
gentlemen. He nibbled it anyway. So I probably missed him. Another little cricket on there, and we're gonna go right back out. Right where I just missed that shit. Look at that barber already gone. You guys see that? It didn't take long at all, did it? This is a baby right here, though. But as you guys can see, this is a bluegill, too. But as you guys can see, it does not take long at all when you are fishing with crickets. So do not get comfortable. Comfort fishing is when you're using things like worms and things like that. You can kind of sit back and get comfort because the bite ain't as fast as when you're using grass shrimp and crickets, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm having more problems with these crickets than good, ladies and gentlemen. They're all over the place because they're so tiny. But when you find a bait shop you like, you're going to support them no matter what. He apologized. It's not his fault that they came small like this. So I'm not going to make it a problem for me not to be able to catch no fish. That's just an excuse, ladies and gentlemen. We ain't got no excuses. Just double up your bait. That's all. Or triple it up if they even that small. I'm going right back out here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that bar. Oh, I, I shouldn't have hooked up there. It went down immediately. So you're gonna have to toy through some of the smaller fish too, cause they're gonna grab it fast too, just as fast as those big ones are. But don't you worry, y'all gonna see a big one just in a second. Cause there's some shell crackers in here, ladies and gentlemen, we've caught it, you can hardly put your hands around. Literally. There goes the barber, oh, it came back up. There it goes. Nothing fancy, ladies and gentlemen, nothing fancy at all. Bluegill there, yeah. on the verge of being a keeper, but I like my hand size and pan size, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna let him go. Two crickets on now. You guys want to know the prices? I paid ten dollars for a hundred, and he had to throw at least fifty more on top of it to a hundred because they were so small. Ladies and gentlemen, now that's a better bluegill right there. That's a better bluegill. Oh, he's, uh-oh. They telling on me. It's a bed out there, ladies and gentlemen. Anytime you get them skiing on you, it's a nest. Let me bait up, ladies and gentlemen. Get back out here. Y'all stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Slide Like Fishing, baby, because I'll be right back. It happens, ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't diving at that one. You believe that. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned for another fish. New 
lose one, get you another one, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. My people want to see you, man. Nothing huge, ladies and gentlemen, but definitely good enough for going some cornmeal. Huh? My grandma love them that side. What they about that in here? Yes, sir. My grandma chew him all the way down to the gristles. Yes, sir. I got a real fish eating family, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't no lie. I had to grow up catching brims and bluegills, but my people eat them. I call my sisters over and say I got some bluegills. I better have a fry by 20. One or two ain't gonna cut it. Y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all got a brim eating family. I was raised doing this, ladies and gentlemen. Just the one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been putting on one little itty bitty one on there. That ain't even happened to have been put on two. Just one, but getting the job done. See, just one, ladies and gentlemen, just one. That ain't going far at all. Y'all can't tell me that ain't the most beautiful sight in the world. Oh, look at this big old bluegill here, y'all. And look how beat up he is. And I want y'all to see something. I told you guys, they are highly aggressive when they on that bed. They beat each other up and anything else that come near. That come from fighting out there on the bed, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. When you catching them like that, you know you're on a high concentration of them, okay? Now, he wasn't beat up too bad or I would have threw him back. I done caught him when they beat up so bad, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't want to eat him. I let him go, okay? I was just one little baby cricket. Let's try it again, y'all. Right on the edge. Look at that barber go. He just tapped it. I should have hooked it because he didn't sink it, though. But he, oh, and there he goes. Here he is. It's a little man now. next year. That's what you tell them, ladies and gentlemen. You tell them you come back and get them next year. We you know, put on a little pound or so. Look, let's see what they do with that little itty bitty. Look at that little itty bitty cricket. Let's see what happens to it. I didn't mean to cast that, but we're going to leave it there. That's on a little itty bitty cricket, y'all. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all might well call me Professor Bluegill. <laughs> Favorite fish? Yes, Lord. Certified slab. Put him on ice. A jump over out. Hey, a jump around. Hey, jump up, jump up, and get down. Go, go, go. Y'all gonna get me started. I have y'all dancing out here in a minute. 
here we go. I'm going to put on another cricket, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm starting to have fun. And y'all know what happened when the professor started having fun. Oh, yeah, goodness. My wife, she give me this look like this. When she see I get excited because she knows she ain't going to work for about three or four hours. <laughs> yes, sir. Bam. Right back there, y'all. Look at that barber just got tapped. There he goes. And here I go. Oh, I missed him, y'all. He still left a little piece of cricket on it. Let's see if he come back and read it. I'm going I'm to re-put it on the tip. Let's see if they eat leftovers. I know I used to love my mama leftovers, y'all. Let's see if they do. Especially like leftover spaghetti. It done sat overnight with them seasonings. Oh, my God. The next day is even better. Let's see if they feel that way about that cricket. Yep, looks like I just had a bite on it. He probably got, oh, there he goes. He hit it. So I guess they feel the same. Mama's cooking is mama cooking, no matter if it's a day old. But they don't know it's the professor out here cooking for them. See, it tastes so good, they think they mama cooked. Look at that cricket just all over. Yeah. I'm putting one. They ain't gonna have to make me put two. That's like a little grass. Yeah, oh, yeah. Shit. Shell cracker, ladies and gentlemen. Put him on ice. Slap like baby. Ooh, look at this black one. Look at that. That's what, now them the bulls we looking for right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Lord. That's what we looking for. Y'all know what he do. Put him on ice. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Appreciate it, brother. You like fishing? That's a good one. You like watching fishing on TV? Yeah. I got a channel. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show my man my channel real fast. I'm talking about beauty. Y'all excuse me for a second. I'm going to show you guys this belly. For all my people that's up north that's blessed and able to catch pumpkin seed, y'all blessed. One of my favorite looking plantfish. I, we do not have them here in Florida. But don't that orange belly like that right there kind of remind you of a pumpkin seed? Man. And all my people, let me know in the comment section too. Do they taste good as they look, ladies and gentlemen? For all my people that has pumpkin seeds in their local waters, y'all know what I'm talking about. Another breed of us, these panfish that we out here enjoying, but they're called pumpkin seed. For all you people that, that's not familiar with that species of fish, go look it up. Very beautiful panfish. One of the most beautiful, him and the green sunfish. But y'all let me know if some, if some pumpkin seeds taste any good. I done seen them come out with some fat bellies from watching them on YouTube. And um, I just wonder if they eat good. Slap like baby. Nice shit. Beautiful colors on them. I'm gonna let that one go, ladies and gentlemen. I want them a tad bit bigger. I know some people out there right now saying, man, I ate that. I understand, I understand. I ate my fair share of fry hards, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but today, I'm about to meet some nice ones. 
I need some nice ones, nice ones. I want like a fillet if I want. Y'all watch that orange bottle get disappeared. Look at that, already. I just looked away for a second. Look at that. We gonna get him back too. He just under the radar. But I got aunties and uncles that would have chewed him all the way up. Just at his size. They they prefer him fry hard size. All right, ladies and gentlemen. When you out here fishing in the sun, make sure that you have some waters or something on ice. That's going to keep you hydrated, ladies and gentlemen, okay? It gets hot down here in Florida where I'm at, okay? But my favorite, other than water, ladies and gentlemen, you got to dig deep on the ice. Man. Man's best friend, other than a dog. Cold beer. Rather you just getting off of work or... You just enjoying a nice, beautiful day on the lake. Take a break. And enjoy life. Slap life, baby. Y'all stay tuned. Got one, my man. I see you, brother. Bring him home. Bring him to the promised land. all brothers out here. If you got one of these in your hand, then you my brother. You can sit down. If you are any one of y'all catch me out anywhere and y'all see one of these in my hand or one of these in my hand, then just sit down, man, and say, man, let me get a cold one and guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to say, here, my friend, enjoy one with me. And while you're at it, you got a rod. If not, here you go, brother. Put a cricket on and enjoy one with me. Slide life, baby! It's a lifestyle, and y'all best believe that. Y'all stay tuned for some more fish. Slow down a little bit right here where I'm at. But you guys see that little cubby hole right there? Uh, oh, hold on. Anyway, that's a cubby hole right there, ladies and gentlemen. I done caught a lot of fish out of that little cut right there, also. So, what I'm getting ready to do is, since I done caught him, I'm gonna cast out here one more time, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and see what else is going on. And uh, the, team, the scenery going to change a little bit because I'm going to go in the shade. So y'all stay tuned for some more fish.
aqui. Olha a xiralha aqui da água. Let him go. Let's pay you this time, my boy. Stay tuned, I got some more coming in. Slap like baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen. They done slowed down just a little bit right here where we're at. I got a little spot if y'all can see right in that corner right there. Man, I've sat there and tore them up, man. I'm talking about some big shell cracker, big bluegill, catfish too. So what we're getting ready to do is we're getting ready to ease in my little corner just to show us this beer's gone, ladies and gentlemen. I put my trash away, hit that corner, and I got a little bit more footage for y'all. Cause I ain't want to give you guys no five, 10 minute video. I wanted to give y'all at least 30, 40 minutes of numbers. So you can, you know what I'm talking about. So I got a little bit more of that coming for y'all here in a second. And I think my barber down right now, ladies and gentlemen. So let's check that out too. Oh, it came back up, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all just stay tuned. And we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We ended up getting to our little corner over here and it's like all has shut down on the lake today. But God blessed me with a few and got you guys to be able to come along with me and see how they bite those crickets. I guarantee I got another video coming for y'all. This ain't it. I'm not all the way satisfied, but hey, that's why they call it fishing, not catching. But today I was able to catch a few. Amen to that. But I want you guys to do one thing. And one thing going, always remember this. If you have to ask, you are not living. And if you're not living, you're not fishing. Slide like baby, it's a lifestyle that I presented brain, a lifetime of memories. And you can take that to the bank where I'm currently at. God bless everybody. Slide like baby, the professor, checking out. <laughs> If you are early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, <laughs> even if none's in your bucket, the beer scenery will be in space. When the barber goes down with tugging, this thrill could pass nothing. Yeah, this that life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen. <laughs>